I guess you can say that I'm a bit nostalgic. I love to travel back in time to when I was a kid and rode electric buses to go shopping with my mom. When movie theaters didn't have 15 screens, we went to Kittyland Amusement Park. We had quality toys that kept a kid's attention for longer than 15 seconds. It was a time when I collected and traded comic books with friends from my grade school. I grew up in this house, in this neighborhood, where we actually played outside all summer. We would play basketball at Mayfair Park for hours, then walk down the street to get a hot dog for 35 cents. These were our mobile devices back then. This is why I love to collect and make things that bring me back to a time where the only stress I had was which toy I should play with first. Hi, welcome to Alley Picked. I bought this shelf over 20 years ago. I hand painted it to represent an old town. I even personalized it. Some of the buildings have names of my family members. The houses have addresses of where I used to live. In fact, the clock above the church, well, that's the time that my daughter was born. But I thought I'd make a new shelf, a more modern shelf, one of the city in which I was born and raised, Chicago. So I cut out this piece of cardboard and I drew on it the skyline of Chicago. I'm gonna paint the shelf blue to represent Lake Michigan. And then for the two shelf supports, I'm gonna use the symbol of Chicago, which is a circle with a Y in it. Now this represents the main branch of the Chicago River where it splits off the North and the South. I think the build's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get started. recap, I'm going to go over all the parts I've got so far. I'm using mostly aspen wood because when I went to Menards, that's all I could find in half inch thickness that was wide enough. Now this really isn't wide enough. I'm going to end up gluing an additional piece on the bottom that's going to be used for my coat hooks. For the main shelf, I bought a three quarter inch by four foot piece. Cut it down to 34 inches. Our extra piece is going to be used for the shelf brackets. I'm going to paint this blue. I'm going to route the edge. This is going to be representative of the lake itself. For the backdrop, I'm gonna make this look like the sky. And then for the silhouette of the city, I'm gonna paint this black. I think that's gonna look great. Let's finish it up. I'm using a white primer for the first coat of all my pieces. Here I have a doweling jig that I like to use for added strength instead of just gluing the boards together. I use my country shelf as a template to cut this out.
Here's a great way to mount the shelf. Instead of using insecure hooks, a much better way is to use a keyhole bit on a router. You plunge it in and move it forward. This way the shelf mounts over a panhead screw anchored into the wall. I'll cut two holes 16 inches apart. Using a Dremel tool with a small sanding drum helps to make quick work to round the edges, after which I'll cut them out using a bandsaw or that jigsaw which I used earlier. Now the fun part. Final assembly begins after all the parts are painted. I use two coats of a water-based polyurethane for a protective semi-gloss finish. So my City Skyline shelf is finished. I think it came out great. We've got the Sears Tower over here. We've got the John Hancock building. I even put some antennas up. You got the Ferris wheel at Navy Pier, some other prominent buildings. You can make one of these for the city in which you live. It took me a little bit longer than I thought, mainly because of the coats of paint. They had to dry in between. The other thing I would say is that I would probably use half inch plywood instead of this half inch aspen. For some strange reason, after I gave it the first coat of paint, it kind of warped on me a little bit. But I hope you enjoyed watching it. I had a lot of fun making it. Please subscribe to Alley Pick, give the video a thumbs up, and if you want to be notified of future videos, click on the bell. Now it's time to go hang this on the wall upstairs. See you next time.